Simon Chase. He's more sensitive. Mm. Really, you think so? I think you are. I think, yeah. Right, you have a fork, too, now, so you can do it, whatever. Yeah, I off because he was looking, he told me he was done, but then syrup seemed to get his attention again, so. Who's crazier? Yeah. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Meat pan syndrome is an ultra-rare mitochondrial condition that affects only 14 people in the world. To Carson, quite early, we had a sense he was very bright. He's got sort of a spirit about him that's just very uh, inviting. Chase is very engaging. He's very playful. I would say mischievous. mischievous. And Chase is also quite smart, and he's very quick-witted. They're just great boys. They both have really great, fun personalities. And I think as parents, Danny and I feel very fortunate that we got so blessed with two great kids. Carson was born in October of 2011, just a few months into his life. We began to notice that his movements were just a little off and he wasn't quite moving the same way that other children were his age. Our second son, Chase, was born and we began to see some of the same sorts of issues with him. You're trying to figure out what's going on with your sons and you try to help them in any way you can. We needed answers, so we you know, push for the idea of genetic testing. We push for the idea of gene panels. And so that's when, through my research, I learned about the Undiagnosed Diseases Network. It's a program through the NIH. It's sort of the end of the line for rare disease families and people without a diagnosis. We got the diagnosis in February of 2018 through whole genome sequencing, which uncovered the uh, mutations that cause MePan syndrome. And that was after almost six years of searching for a diagnosis. You know, as a mom who carried both the children, there's always the question of, did I do this? Did, is there something that I did or didn't take? Is there a vitamin that I missed? So to have the diagnosis be something legitimate, that, it, that was just sort of an inherited gene that Danny and I passed, I mean, it, it is what it is. It doesn't necessarily, it doesn't change who our boys are. It gives us some more information that, thank you God, it's not a fatal disease that they have. For me, it was a powerful moment and it allows us to sort of, to move to the next phase, which is how do we handle it? What do we do next? We were able to get put in touch with the researchers studying the condition, as well as getting in touch with the other families. When you have community, I feel like you there's just more life enjoyment and our boys are completely full of life don't give up absolutely do not give up